Okay, I've just um, popped the lid on this, so let's take a, a look under the hood. It would be a good idea if I just took you through the major components. Um, the only things actually connected to this outer cover are the three potentiometers, which change the uh, two pulse widths and the dwell widths. So I'm just going to disconnect these. Um, it makes things a lot easier to, to look at. Okay, just putting that to one side, bring this a little bit closer now. What we've got on the control board here obviously is the three inputs for the potentiometers. I, I didn't use this fourth one here. They're wired into the analog inputs of the Arduino. We've also got a switch input here and that's from a foot switch which is on the ground. The Arduino is powered off a uh, little power supply here which I bought directly off the internet and that turns uh, the input down from 12 volts down to 5 volts which is suitable for the Arduino. The Arduino that I've used is a, a Pro Mini so it doesn't have a USB input and indeed I have to use a um, just an FTDI there with a USB lead to connect to the laptop to do the programming. We've got um, the inputs for the battery which is the 12 volts here and I've just got a little bit of input protection, a couple of diodes We've got a measurement for the voltage on the capacitors and a little voltage divider here. We've got the gate driver for the MOSFETs and a few components around that little board there. And I've got four resistors here. It just happens that those resistors I had for, uh, lying around. So yeah, you could use one of the right size and uh, rating. I'll just use four here. I'll show you how those work in a minute. To the front, um, we've got a screen plus a negative lead obviously going through to the um, probes themselves got an on off switch on the front for convenience on the back we've got the um, input for the foot switch we've got the input for the battery and in this case I'm actually using a 12 volt battery and then um, and that's for the control system. This is for the power for the capacitors and that's coming off the bench top power supply. So I think what I'll do now is I'll pop the lid back on again, connect things up and show you a demonstration of actually welding. 